fire plow tips and tricks. Um, one thing I can tell you is that when the surface area is very large here, it's going to take a lot more effort and energy to plow and get that coal. Yes, it is possible, but we'd like to take any advantage we can get, especially with the hard method like the friction fire plow. Now, you can take your excess off here and that will allow to make it easier for you to plow also and will give us a good starting point for our friction fire plow. And then we will proceed to carve the plow as well. <clears throat> we want it to be thinned off at the end here. Same on the other side. A long tape narrowing taper. <clears throat> That'll do. And also just shave off the end there. Give you a bit of ease, uh, the, uh, effort. <sighs> now we can start. We've <clears throat> got every benefit here. Just heat up the board. Not spending any effort here. I'm trying to use the full length of my board to apply upper body force. I'm not using my arms. The Samoan grip is very good for this. What I want to do is collect that hot dust at the end until about 750 degrees Fahrenheit and it will ignite into a coal. I'm hardly expending any energy here. I can see I got a good build up, good smoke going. I'm gonna speed up the process a bit here. Now here I go, I can see I, it's in my sight. Applying a lot of pressure, a lot of force, a lot of speed. Burning up my energy here. Won't stop until I see the dust pile, the smoke coming from the heap. Diving into the plow, the coal. There it is. Smoke is coming from my pile. We have an ember. As you can see, my tip looks quite different here. This is soft wood, this is balsam fir. The type of wood does not matter, only the condition. Of course you can make things easier on yourself.